Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're all well. Thank you for joining me in studio today, Saturday, 3 p.m. Welcome to our fabulous channel. If you're not a subscriber, click that subscribe button, the bell, that gives you the half an hour notice. And if you do enjoy the show, please pop a comment underneath and let us know your thoughts on the show. Is it something you're going to try? Or is it something you've already done and you've tried it and it's worked out better if you do this or that? We are an inspirational channel that love to just celebrate the love of craft and just share inspiration no matter what, no matter what day, no matter what time, how we're feeling. It's always brilliant to do some crafting and get a smile on your face. So let's do a little bit of a shout out. I hope everyone's well. It is Saturday, so I don't suspect we'll have lots of people on. You may watch later, but if you are watching live, thank you so much. So let's do a shout out. We have Michaela, Karen, Jan, Sue, Glynis. Helen, Lynn, Donna, Jan, Angela, Susan, Michaela, Jane, Elaine Coke. It takes almost two weeks for our stuff to come to get to me. Not really complaining. <laughs> I wish I could bring it myself, Elaine. I really do. Uh, Glynis, Michaela, Susan, Carol and Wayne. Hi to everyone. Just made it in time. Welcome to the channel, everyone. So I've had a fabulous Saturday, as you can see. I have been helping out in store today. So whatever you're doing, thank you for coming and saying hello and let's get straight in. So I have some deals for you today. I, ha I am mindful. I haven't done any Fridays for a while. So I'm going to just quickly show you a few deals and it's 10 at 10 and you'll see why in a second. And then I've got some lovely, lovely um, uh, inspirational demos for you, which is fabulous. And it'll take my mind off the chaos outside this room, which is... Uh, a refit of our store and our warehouse. So if you look on screen there, you'll see I have popped on uh, 10 items at £10. Take your pick. So we have even in there two stamps and two dies. Uh, sorry, two stamps and dies at £10. So normally £35.98, today £10. So 10 at 10. So if there's anything on there you've had your <coughs> eye on, I will say to you that the first three on there, the skeleton leaves, the driftwood and the rose, they are back in stock. They only landed last week. So I've put them on at £10 because a lot of you clicked that notify me button. There is also on the bottom right the Wow Powder Trio, which is the showstopper, which you've all been waiting for, which has got glitter bug in there, which is the one that gives you that sort of flex, like um, some lovely powders and things like that. Absolutely stunning. And that's on at 10 too. So even though they're back in stock, they're not the original price, so it's 10 at 10. All of those products are underneath this live show. If you are watching on Catch Up, you can always pop the, scan the QR code on screen and pop Shop 11 in there. That'll bring you to all of the products. And that's just a faster way to shop, should you wish. So, question, question, we'll be getting the storage envelopes again. So, at least we have them, I will load some back on. We still have some. We have lots, in fact. In fact, the roof's going to come in. We've got that many. I will load some back on for you, Glynis, no problem. So, um, check those out. There might be something on there for you. There's a couple of Imala. Uh, thirsty brush and lots of lovely stamps by me i have them all here if anybody wants to have a quick look through them just ask question question and i'll show you them in real time if you want to but today i am gonna use this one did you all watch the show pretty things inside the box i'm gonna use maple and lime now i keep flitting between what's my favorite in the box every time i touch them i'm like now this is my favorite now that's my favorite and i think that's what we do as crafters don't we, we just flip between products because it's forever changing and today, this is my favourite, and I'm going to show you a cool technique using this one today. So I've already gone ahead and cut them both, look. Now, after this show, because I always try and do a nice little giveaway, after this show, if anybody comments underneath this video when I've gone off air, I'm going to give this one away. Um, this is one that I've just grabbed and I have just used to cut these two. So I am going to give this one away to anybody who comments underneath. Okay, so I'll pick a winner and then message you. So just pop a comment underneath and hopefully you'll get to win this one. We do lots of giveaways at Stamps By Me, lots and lots. Um, that's just say thank you for coming back all the time. So I have those two die cut and I've done them in like a goldy metallic mirror board. I think that's going to help with the sort of technique I want to do today. It's a little bit different, this technique. I have no idea how it's going to turn out, but you know what? Let's just have some fun and see how it goes. So I have a piece of patterned paper, just from an old piece of paper from my stash. You can use the new papers in the box if you want to. It's totally up to you. There are simply no rules. Dig out your stash. If you've got this, a sort of die that's very similar to this, or so a leaf die or anything, obviously you can do that as well. Use, use what you've got. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, 
stick one of these to this piece of paper when my glue comes through. I don't want it to all splurge on me. Oh, it's coming through. <laughs> Hi, Denise. Oh, I hope you kept, I hope you're okay, sweetheart. So, oh, come on. I don't do it in case it all splurges everywhere. You know what it's like. It's just one of those things, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is, I'm just, we're going to do two cards at the same time today. Like, not ten, or nine. Two. <laughs> I do not want the pressure. However, whilst I'm just going this, I'm going to tell you about a cool event that's coming up next week. So next week, I'm going to be celebrating 2 million views on our channel. And I will tell you more about that on Monday. <laughs> I've got a guest as well. You're all thinking, who could it be? And I will um, tell you more about that one on Monday. So let's just stick this one flat onto here. Oops, a daisy. So I'll go right to the base, a bit higher maybe. Hopefully it fits on my page. Yep, just nice like so. So I'll just grab a block. Oh, excuse that noise, that was awful, wasn't it? So I'll just pop that on there just to dry underneath. And then we'll do our second card at the same time. So let's just set that aside. And then next one I have a white piece of card, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a nice coloured background. I'm just going to swipe some ink on here. So let's pick out a bunch of colours. So let's go like a gradient. Let's go pink, just for the fun of it. Now, I would normally use my little ink pads, but they're in my craft bag from TV. So, so I'm just going to swipe the ink, not too much ink, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be gentle because they are juicy, so that one, then we'll go into Fandango, don't have to be precise, just get some colour down, and then let's do, ooh, too many colours. Some blue. Oh, excuse me. Very noisy. And then, shall we do a bit of purple? It will dry a bit lighter. And then let's just go back in with that pink and get a bit more pink on here. Swipe away, so. <laughs> let's just clean, let's just clean this off very quickly. So we've sort of like created our colourful background. You can use any colours, don't forget that. Not just these ones. Gemma, question, question, are you getting any more secret forest paper pads? So here's the, here's the story with the secret forest paper pad. That's the only thing that held me back by putting more boxes together for you all. So you all know that it sold out before we got, well, I got to TV and it, there were eight boxes left. Crazy. Um, and the only reason I couldn't do them straight away and give TV more was because I didn't have enough of the paper pads. So um, hence why we have the week. Uh, extended on there for you so it was the paper pads that was holding me back so you'll see that that paper pad is at this moment in time out of stock uh, but as soon as it lands which is this week because we're repacking hundreds and hundreds of more boxes um, I'll load some individuals on as well for you so next week so there's our pattern piece there that actually looks quite cool doesn't it I think I'm gonna give it a, a rattle with some water so I'm just going to take some of my spray here some water on there just give it a second let it bleach out Angela says Tony is there any chance we can have a bride and groom embossing folder oh yes it's already done <laughs> um, we have a lovely bride and groom we have a lovely art 
We have a few other bits and pieces. I shouldn't really be telling you, but yes, it's already done. So just watch this space. So I'm just taking this ink out of here. It's like you read my mind. <laughs> so let's just dry this one off. <clears throat> We're doing two cards at the same time here and I want you all to try it today because I know you've all got some form of a dye or ink or embossing powder in your stash so today when I get home on that couch and I'm flicking through my social media pages to make sure everybody's okay and what you've all been up to I want to see somebody do this card or one of the cards that I make today and it can't be my design team Karen <laughs> So I'll just dry this one off, super easy. Right, so that other leaf one design we've got, which is this sort of, it's got more detail around the edges. We'll just get this one onto a card. So let me just unblock my glue a little bit because it's playing silly, silly beggars. There we go. I feel a little bit like, I feel a little bit naked because um, I took my belt off so I could help out and now I'm like, it should be pulled in and really I'm like, I feel like I could take off in the wind. <laughs> Don't forget to check out those 10 at 10 today. And um, they're only on for today. So 10 at 10. If you've already got an order on the box, you can always add it to your previous order. And don't forget if you are not a club member, I know I've been talking about it quite a lot. You need to join the club. This year is going to be your year guys at home who are club members we've changed it totally up okay so um our club members are going to be heavily rewarded for the continued support and the outlay of the initial 15 pounds is nothing in comparison to what you're going to get for the year okay so when you do um join just pop this down here when you do join twist that a little bit see if we can get it all on when you do join it starts from the day you start join and it's um for one year so it doesn't matter when you join it it's not like you join now and you've already missed a month because you should have started in january it starts from the point you join uh for a year okay so i have my two here so that's stuck on there like that and this is just going to give this chance to dry here so it is an incredible incredible club even you all thought it was brilliant last time but if you've noticed on our website, we now have a, on this SBM shop, there is a square that says something about Stamps Club members. So there's nothing in it yet, but it does say coming soon. So get, don't forget to join that club. Particularly if you are a fan, if you're, not, if you're here just for the inspiration, of course, you do not need to get the club. That's absolutely fine. But if you're not, and you do purchase quite a few goodies from Stamps by me, you need to be in the club. Right, so what I've done here is I've grabbed a whole bunch of powders here. So I've got Litterbug, I've got a Clear, and then I grabbed this one, which is my Transparent um, from my Eyes Ink. Now, looking at that, it's got some glitter in, so it's clear, but it's got sparkle in it. So what to do this technique, you need to sort of like get one that you've sort of like got some clear powder in as well now this is the showstopper which i've shown you all about which is this one here which is back in stock which i've done at 10 at 10 today and you see this litter bug here in the center it's got a clear undertone but it's got flex in i thought i might use this one i'm not sure if it's a bit too chunky for this technique but do you know what we're not going to know unless we try so i think i'm going to use litter bug on this one and then on this one i think shall we try the sparkle or shall we try the ultra thick clear Let's go the ultra thick clear. I always do sparkle, so again, just chopping it up. But you can try it with whatever you've got in your stash. And you'll have to let me know what the results are because I've no idea how this is going to turn out, by the way. It's just an idea in my head. So, first, let's just move while that's drying, let's move it to one side. So, let's bring this one in here. So, I need a sticky ink pad. I'm going to give that a powder a shake here. And I'm just going to grab some cardstock to put underneath.
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the clear. Litter bug is amazing. It's one of my favourites too. I'm not sure if it's a bit too chunky, but <laughs> who knows? Who? We'll try. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the ink pad direct to my paper with that um, die cut on there. And you might have to, oops, excuse me, you might have to do it in um, a couple of stages, which I'm willing to do because I think the results are going to look awesome. So let's do this one first. Just grab some paper to catch that powder. Give it a good old shake. It's a really lovely one. It's got chunky bits in, so it might fit in theme with the back. We'll soon find out, won't we? I'm just going to throw it all over. Anybody else wondering what this is going to look like? <laughs> Oh, I said sparkle. I always do sparkle, though. Ooh. That's very interesting. Well, I'm very interested to see how that turns out. How that turns out. Let me just get some on that bottom corner, because I've missed it on the corner. Totally covered. Right, let's see how this goes. In fact, no, we'll heat set them together, both of them. So that's that one. Um, let's just set this aside for now, put that on there and then let's bring our card back in and let's bring in our second card. So this one is the coloured background with that splat of water and that um, lovely detail on there. I'm just going to take this off because it's a bit long. And then with this one, we're going to go the clear, ultra clear. Probably will look fabulous and sparkle, but I'm going to go totally clear. So again, sticky ink pad. It doesn't actually look like much is going on, but I think it is. We all need sparkle in our lives, that's too right. Yeah, so it's the How To Craft Network website, which is home of stamps by me. So I'm going to get the, this one's ultra gloss, clear gloss, ultra high. Um, but if you have clear embossing powder, it will totally work. Okay, this is just one that I've got on my trolley at the side of me. Oh, better not throw it on there. I'll stick to that. Move it out of the way. Got to love a bit of them wow embossing, aren't we? Use the whole jar. So I might have to do two coats of that one if I want it really, really like thick. That would be cool, wouldn't it? But let's at least get these heat set and see what they look like. Now, do I have my posh tweezers? I bet they're in my craft bag. Looks, looks like it's a big fat now. So, heat gun, always get your heat gun really hot. So, Leslie, if you just go to the website, just go to the front of the website, it's all there for you. But if you scan that code and put in shop 11, it should come straight up. Right, so if you're trying to buy the box, you can't buy it. It's out of stock until the papers land, okay? Right, so this one is the first one we did with litter bug, okay? So, and off we go. So I'm going to chase that powder. As you can see, it's sort of... Now I'm telling you now, this looks totally awesome. 
Can't wait to see it. My gun doesn't sound too healthy. What's all that about? So this one's patterned paper. It's a little bit fancy. Look at this then. Hopefully. That is a nice effect. That is cool. Well, if other one doesn't turn out all right, we nailed it with this one, so we're happy with it. There we go. So let's do this one next. Now this is the double, uh, the sort of ultra thick embossing. So I'm going to heat it from underneath. So we have to be careful with my fingers here. I wonder if I can do it from top. Oh, I can. Now this looks like a piece of jewellery. Let me show you this, guys. So, what what what's happened here is, I mean, look how gorgeous that is. Feels like stained glass. But do you know what? I've got a, I've got a, a cool idea here. Can you see? I don't know if the camera's showing it, but where the flecks of water are, you know, where I splattered it with water. Where I've done that, the embossing sort of resisted it a little bit, which has given me like a moon effect on the base. Can we see? It sort of resisted it a little bit, which is quite cool. It looks like glass. Now, I do love it, but I just want to see what it looks like with a second coat on top. I love this one, and that can absolutely stay as it is. It's super sparkly. It's really pretty. It's got those flecks of that glitter in there. But I really do want to experiment with this one, so I think I'm going to go over it again twice. I'm just interested to see if it actually won't cover that sort of splat where we put the water. So I would probably suggest that this embossing powder doesn't like water. I guess it doesn't. It's plastic at the end of the day, isn't it? So it is maybe going to act as a little bit of a risk. But the technique, the result I've got, it looks amazing. I'm not joking. It looks so cool. Look at that. And this is the thing, I had no idea how this was going to turn out. And you've just got to play. You all have these ink pads, sticky ink pads. You all have embossing powder. Let's do it second. Let's get a second one on here and just see. So I'm just going back over again with that sticky ink pad. <coughs> I hope everyone's having a lovely Saturday, guys. I really do hope you are. Thank you so much for giving me the best job in the world and just, you know, allowing me to go to TV with a heart full of joy with products that sold out before I've even got there. It's just, honestly, pinch yourself moment. Right, um, bring back in that white card. So I'm going to use the same again. Use that... Um, so if you have got this one, it's clear gloss, gloss ultra high, but a clear embossing powder from any brand will work, okay? Something magical about embossing, it truly is. So I'm going to pop this back on top. So I'm going to, this is like a, a double, 
Now, I don't really think you need to do double with a super thick one, but I'm going to do it anyway, just to see if that water in that card that we flicked on is going to resist it on a second chat, on a second time round. It's a lovely finish and I'm happy with it, but you know, whilst we're playing, I'm going to just have a see. This is only what Marion Emberson would tell us all to do, isn't it? Play. Play, play, play. If you, do, if you don't have any embossing and you're thinking, I really want to give that a go, we've got tons of embossing powders on the website as well. Check those out. And sticky ink pads if you haven't got those, if you do want to play. But I think probably most of you will have them. So shall we heat set this one then? And then we'll mount them onto some cards. Oh, Rosie. Oh, that's super kind, Angela. So gun hot again guys and then if you if you feel like it's flying all over a little bit you know turn the card over and do it from the back side this looks like metal work yep it's absolutely it has acted as a little resist around that water splat can I be the first to claim this technique, please? <laughs> oh, I always think I've done something brand new and black. Tony, we've been doing it for years. Get lost. <laughs> but honestly, I'm going to show you in a second. It looks truly awesome. This is my favourite. This looks like a porcelain panel. <laughs> it's too good to put on a card. <laughs> it is too good to put on a card, I'm not joking. I'll pick it up in a second. Are we ready? It looks like metalwork in a stained glass window. It is gorgeous. You could sprinkle glitter on whilst it's melting in, in place. Oh, that's a credit to my die, if anyone asks. Isn't it cool? Well, it's, it's hard as well, which is nice. So you can put this... Do you know those shadow box frames where they have like a piece of glass in the middle, like um, a piece of fancy glass? It's beautiful glass, but it's just the glass stuck in the middle of a shadow box. This would look gorgeous in a shadow box, just in the middle. It looks like glass. Can we see it from there? Look at that. Honestly, I love it. Yeah, you can see I love it, can't you? I'm showing you. Oh, let's make some cards, Tony. Stop right now. Right, so let's get some of these cards mounted. This one is beautiful, though, as well. And I think that if... Do you know what? Let's just go over this one with Ultra Clear and seal it. Make it as nice and glossy as that one. What do we think? I've got time. So the one that we did originally, this one, I'm going to go over with that Ultra Clear High, the clear one. And I'm just going to give this a bit of a glossy edge as well, and then it'll capture that sparkle underneath, won't it? And then this is going to look super awesome too, I think. <laughs> You're like, eh, no, Tony. Do you know what, though? It uses a lot. Look at that. This one only full. It uses a lot. But do we buy this stuff to use it? We absolutely do. Oh, and then I've gone and poured it onto my sticky paper as well. What a, no wonder I've got none left. Um, let's fold this back up. Now, this is a thick one, remember, so this is why it's used more. It won't do this with the all thin one. And I've lost half of it on this card now. Look at that. I'm going to have to heat set that and do something with that. So 
So let's heat set this one now, and then we'll get, we'll get, I promise we'll get some cards made. I promise. My gun's like, hey, joking, I'm too hot. My gun's packed in now. Let's give it a rest. Do you know what, though? 2016. Poor thing. I'm going to have to give it a rest. Can you give me a rest? Don't put me down, though, but I'll have a rest. Resin or varnish. Right, let's just set that aside because obviously I need to do that and that's the card for that one. So let's put this one together whilst that one's having a little bit of a cool down. While well, it's having a moment. So I'm going to glue this one onto this back black panel. I'm going to put quite a bit of glue on this, guys, because... It's got a bit of a kink in it, and because it's so solid, I feel like it's going to lift my glue, so I am going to put quite a bit on. I'm not going to be tight with it. Get it lathered on there. And then I just put my acrylic block back on top. Let that dry on that black. You know what I'm thinking now? I should have mounted that on white. It'd have really popped with that colour, wouldn't it? Give that a second to dry. Let's see if the gun's had its moment. Nope. Let's get sentiment. I'm going to use a washer tape sentiment here. Oh, keep smiling's nice, isn't it? It's fine, don't worry. It's fine. Give that a second to dry. So put it under your block. I'm going to do keep smiling on this one. And whilst that's doing that, move it over to the side. And then on this one, we'll pop this down first. This is going to be the one for that back panel. Looks like resin, it does. Who said that? It looks like resin. Terry, great shout, it does look like resin. No, I think they must overheat, you know, Karen. Mind you, this has been an absolute workhorse. Work I do have the white one, which I take to TV. I think sometimes, and I think that, you know, that um, ultra thick embossing powder takes a lot of heating through, doesn't it? And I think they do that as well to prevent fires. Because when they get too hot, they're like, no, you need to let me cool down, which is fair enough, I guess. So let's get this one on here, look. This is so gorgeous. And let's stick our sentiment on. And we'll get this onto a card blank. Keep smiling. Stephanie would be a good technique for a bookmark. Yeah, good idea. So I, th I was going to put this onto a pink card. But now I'm thinking maybe it might need a white card. No, I'll do it on the pink. It's cut now. Susan Traub Carter. What a lovely comment. So Susan says, clearly from the USA, because she's been buying from the HSN. Lovely for you to join us on the channel, Susan. She said, the ultra clear is just amazing. I was introduced to you and your company on HSN. You are now my favourite. That is so kind. Thank you so much, Susan. Well, I'm back on HSN on Mar in March. I'm flying back to the USA with some new goodies for you. So that's going to be super cool. Super cool. What's the weather like, Susan? Tell us what the weather's like where you are. So I'm just going to pop my block on here and just give that a chance to sort of like do its 
business. Let's see if this is going to go for us, is it? Let me just unplug it and plug it back in just in case. I think that, um, just one second, I think I might have one in this box here. May I, do I? No. Oh, just ruined my demo. Good old heat gun. It's, it's all right, ladies and gents, I've got a, it's all right, ladies and gents, I've got, a, I've got alternative. Yeah, I've got, I've got alternative, put it on. Could you use me over? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Only thing is it sucks in and doesn't give me any heat. I can't use... I'll just, I'll just put that back, shall I? That's me over for all my bits, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I bet you think you totally get on with them. I can't. I can't do all about with them. In fact, what we will do... Let's just... So look at that. So... Can we just stand this one up, uh, please? Because I think... So I will pick a winner for this card and the die for anyone who comments underneath this video. Now, I obviously... <laughs> Michaela's put R.I.P. heat gun. <laughs> I'm going to pop this in with the lucky winner who wins the die. Now, for the last five minutes, any questions? Um, I will get it finished and I will pop the picture on, but unfortunately, the gun's saying bye-bye, Tony. So any questions? Anything... Don't forget, we have that inspirational bubble. So when you go to get some inspiration, you can request our videos. So all you need to do is pop in. I have a lovely envelope in my bag, which I carry everywhere with me. And then when I come in studio, I check the um, requests and I try and fulfil them throughout the shows. So we, uh, you can ask for a technique or a product that you've bought where you can't find a video. Obviously, I've launched thousands and thousands of products so not all of them have videos so on so on some occasions you will search and there might not be anything there if that's the case and you do want some inspiration we may have a step-by-step -step tutorial guide from karen or i can do a video and i will give a shout out to the name that's asked for the video in the hope that that lady's watching or if she's not we will let her know that we've done her video at her or his request and don't forget you can always scan the qr codes on the pack of the back packaging as well um, they are uh, updating QR codes too. So we have some questions. Let's have a look. Question, question. Have you the ultra high clear embossing powder on the website? Yes, Helen. I believe so. Great question. Question, question. When is the next box? So Angela, um, can't tell you. Can't tell you. Sorry. Are you, uh, question, question, will you be reordering confetti ink? Yes, we will. Uh, it's one of our key lines. So, yes, Shaz, I will be. Shaz Conabia, nice name. Uh, Julie, question, question, can we have more paint from? Paint from scratch hours, please. Question, question, come on, Julie, what does that mean? Question, question, can we have more paint from scratch hours, please? <laughs> That's obviously a typo. See, I knew if I dragged it out for longer than five minutes, it'd come back on. Back to demo, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it finished before it clonks out again. So that's that card. Come on, come on. Just get me through. Well, I'm now plugged into there. I'm just going to have to move on over a little bit. Right, let's get it done before it decides it's too hot again. You're all thinking, there is a God. I'm just trying to get with limit. I'm on limited line here. I'm right. So this is with that clear on top, remember? So we did it in sparkly first. <laughs> Hurrah, Terry! Yay! Oh, it looks really cool now we've got the clear on top. Unless it's sold out, maybe. It's definitely on there because that's where I got mine from. 
Go, 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 Karen. I know. I feel the pressure of doing 10 cards in 30 minutes. I might get half a demo done. Oh, it's looking great, though, guys. Well worth it. It's well worth the patience, that's all I'm saying. I'll show you in a second. Who's going to give this technique a try? Honestly, it looks like stained glass. It looks like a metal in glass. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, Gun. Denise says, Wow, Tony, I'm new to your products and I'm just blown away by the beautiful crafty goodies. Talk about a child in a toy store. The samples I've seen are awesome. Denise, if you go to our website and click the inspiration button at the top of the page, boom. If you want any cards with techniques, we have hundreds of step-by-step -step guides. There's videos, there's all sorts. Just don't go on when you've got housework to do, okay? Uh, question, question, is there no limit to embossing once you've put the powder on the ink? Does it not dry out? No, you need to set it with some heat. It'll just brush off if you don't... Um, It'll just brush off. You need to set it. It's plastic. It's tiny particles of plastic, so it needs melting to set. So let me show you this one. Look at this. So this is where we did it with glitter bug, and then that glaze. Oh wow! I will. Um, I will make sure it's on the. It's not on at the moment. We've just checked for you, but I have lots. So stand by. I will load it after studio for you. I saw them. Um, I was looking myself. Look how gorgeous that is. So let's get this onto this card. So if you want in the clear, just stand by, I'll pop it on when I come off air. So we've got two really, really cool cards here, guys. And this is nice on the craft. This is very Christmassy, actually. Sheila's late. She's late in coming, but she's enjoying what she's seen so far. You'll have to press rewind. Or pause me or mute me if you don't want to listen to me jibber jabber on, as my son would say. You jibber jabbering, jibber jabbering. <laughs> oh, children, hey. Let's do to the both of you for this one. Just trim it down a bit because I didn't obviously put the die on this one. Quite as nice or as neat as I'd like. To the both of you, this one's a nice one. Love, love, love. Let's get some glue on the back of this one. I would probably put some sequins on this because this looks a bit Christmassy to me. Give it a second to grab. There we go. Give that a second. So I'll just let them two dry. So that's it. What do we think of that technique? Are you going to give it a try? Are you going to give it a go? Ooh, touch and go, touch and go. You'll have to let me know. But all you need to do is pop a comment underneath this video and I'll send out the dye. The super cool and gorgeous dye which you can be utilised throughout all of the year. So that lovely, sorry, that lovely dye. And I'll send this card that I've made as well. Um, to one lovely crafter too so that's it for today's tutorial I'm sorry about the heat gun incident it's just like it's like me it's like I've had enough go away <laughs> but it came back right like pouch it bounced back like me it bounced back so there we go two beautiful beautiful cards for you there um, give it a go question question Denise will you be doing weekend workshops maybe in the summer leave it with me I'll see what I can do thank you so much for joining me give it a go guys i'll be watching for the makes tonight to see who's used their embossing powders and i'll go and load that uh, embossing powder on for you all now 
Whatever you're doing, have a great Saturday, a beautiful Sunday. I'll see you all Monday with Simon from Have a Go. Take care. Love you lot. Bye.